Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I did receive a huge package from Pulsar, which includes a lot of super glides for a whole wide array of different brands of mice, including Glorious, Vaxi, Zowie, Razor, Logitech, and others. You can see that the skates came in a pretty nice packaging here. The Razor Viper Ultimate skates look absolutely phenomenal, including the Logitech G Pro Super Light skates, which come in a wide array of colors. The skates I was most excited for were definitely the Orochi V2 because it's one of my favorite mice and I have a custom for from Nacho Customs. And application of the skates is insanely easy. I think the skates look absolutely phenomenal on the Razor Viper Ultimate as well as the Final Mouse Starlight 12, and the skates even look absolutely amazing on the SteelSeries Prime. The red super glides on the white super light look absolutely phenomenal, and you can see that the prototypes I've used for over a month, the durability here is great. All right, guys, so I've got the glass skates on each and every single one of these mice, and I think everyone's kind of initial take on glass skates were that they were going to be uncontrollable. And first thing first, I do want to get into the speed of the glass skates. So one thing I definitely noticed between the Orochi V2 and the G Pro Superlight is that on smaller mice, the glass mouse skates definitely felt a whole lot faster initially. That initial friction is cut down on both large and small mice, and that kinetic friction feels buttery smooth. I wouldn't say that dynamic movements and that kinetic friction feel a whole lot less than something like PTFE skates, but on the Orochi V2, it does feel a whole lot more maneuverable in the hand compared to using PTFE skates and feels absolutely beautiful in game and very, very consistent when you are moving the mouse. On this iteration of the Super Glides, I do not have any of that tug feeling that some people experienced on the Pulsar X Lite Super Glides. And on my Pulsar X Lite, I actually did swap to the prototype skates from the Viper Ultimate and 703 and did not experience the tug either with a month of use. So hopefully whatever that initial issue was, it is fixed. But the Razer Orochi V2 with these skates feels absolutely insane. The G Pro Super Lite, again, feels very, very good with these new Super Glides on the mouse. Even with having that larger surface area, I do not feel any tug going side to side with the mouse. And that initial friction is cut. You can use a very, very little amount of force to get the mouse to move. And what that does, in my personal opinion, is open up that those small micro movements to being even more refined than what they are on PTFE skates. You can see that using normal PTFE skates, if you try to do so something like a figure eight movement, it is not nearly as smooth feeling and as accurate feeling as something like the glass skate. So anybody who has jittery aim or over aims a lot in game with those micro movements might have a little bit of an issue with glass skates in my personal opinion. But if you get used to it and you're, you allow yourself to become accustomed to them, I do think that your micro movements can improve with glass skates just because of how open it is for those movements. Another thing I definitely want to point out is that in using my Pulsar X Lite with glass skates for probably about a month or probably over a month as my main mouse, I haven't really put a whole lot of time into any of my other mice, the Final Mouse Medium, the Razor Viper Ultimate, or the SteelSeries Prime. And with glass skates and swapping to these mice, it really opens up the movement and changes how the mouse feels in my hand with these larger-ish mice and heavier mice, it actually makes the mouse feel a lot lighter because of how easy those initial movements are. So the Viper Ultimate, to me, actually might be my main mouse now with these glass skates just because the mouse feels buttery smooth. It feels like it is just a whole lot easier to get going, and those micro movements feel a whole lot better despite the mouse being a little bit longer in the hand than something like the Razer Orochi V2. The Final Mouse Medium with these glass skates feels absolutely insane. Even the mouse being as light as it is, the skates are an absolutely amazing implementation, and I think anybody with a Final Mouse Small or Medium would really, really enjoy these skates. It, it just makes the mouse feel more like an attachment to your hand. Your movements are exactly where the mouse is going, and the amount of force that you are using behind your movements 
the mouse just feels attached to you. So I don't think that you lose control moving to the skates, whether it be on a larger mouse like the SteelSeries Prime or a smaller and lighter mouse like the Final Mouse. It just feels extremely good. And the surface that you use it on, this is an Amundsen, kind of an abrasive surface from Agile, which I absolutely love this desk pad, but it just makes the surface feel buttery smooth. You feel less of that abrasiveness compared to PTFE skates. And it just opens up your movement and feels so buttery smooth, controllable, and clean. And again, guys, I have been using the prototypes on my Pulsar X Lite for over a month, and I do not experience any slowdown or any tug. So hopefully the new iterations of the Super Glides do not experience the issues that some anybody was having on the Pulsar X Lite. On my Pulsar X Lite, I did have a set of skates in black, one in red. I did experience the slowdown on my black set, but not my red set. So I don't know kind of what that issue is, whether or not it is humidity, whether or not it is the way the skates are angled. I'm, I'm not quite sure or how they're polished. But these new Super Glides out of the box do feel absolutely phenomenal, and I don't have any of those experiences or any of those issues. And compared to the Lethal Gaming Gear skates, the main primary difference, I would say, in the difference of the two, the Lethal Gaming Gear skates are very, very good. Obviously, they are transparent and not colored. Uh, but apart from looks and in function, the initial friction feels a little bit less on the Super Glides, but dynamic friction actually feels a little bit faster on the Lethal Gaming Gear skates. So if you are somebody who wants a little bit higher tick of speed on your movements and a little bit more fluidity, just a tick higher, the Lethal Gaming Gear skates offer that. If you are somebody who wants a little bit more control, just a tick and hair lower on those dynamic movements, the Super Glides, I would say, are the way to go. Both of these skates are absolutely phenomenal. I am a big proponent of glass skates. I will not be going back to PTFE, and I can't recommend both of these brands enough. So guys, I am, again, a huge proponent of glass mouse skates. I am not going to go back to PTFE skates. I'm going to be staying on glass just because I like how it feels on all sorts of cloth pads. I do think that glass skates do have a potential benefit for any one of us. I think that if you are somebody who wants and it sounds like you could use the additional maneuverability for those small micro movements, which does, again, I think benefit me as well when I am tracking to have those little adjustments as well. I think that the glass skates, again, are something that have a benefit over PTFE skates if it is something that is going to work for you. I think it could inhibit some of us. I think if anybody has extremely jittery aim, it could certainly be something that makes you lose control of those small micro movements. And in that case, I would not recommend glass skates, but I do think that they are something that everybody should experience at least once. Give it a try, see how it affects your gameplay. Try it out for two weeks. Don't just try it for 10 minutes. See how it goes, see how it benefits you and either your aim trainers or whatever your main game is. But I do definitely prefer these for my own gameplay, my own personal use for tax shooters and tracking games like Apex Legends. If that helped, guys, please leave a subscription to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.